In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stunning slide from the image which I've downloaded from the internet. As you can see here, this particular image of a sapling or seedling I've got from the internet and the animation which I did here is when I click, you can see here the sapling, it's, it's covered uh, with a kind of a sphere and then you can add different option surrounding to the sphere. You can see here, you can just add and I've given some glow effect to it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and insert any image of sapling or seedling from the internet. I have got this image from the internet. You can search uh, from the internet and just copy the image which you like. Now I'm going to cover the image uh, with the slide to the slide. Now. You can see here when I'm trying to drag this one, some part it is going out of the, the slide area. I don't need that to happen. For that, I need to crop it. To crop it, you have to go to the picture format, crop and select the aspect ratio and I'm going to select 16 is to 9. Click here and click outside. So you can see here the size has been reduced and then just drag it. Now it's fit properly uh, within the slide. All right. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add one oval shape for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and if you want you can just adjust it shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to select white now let me just make it somewhat transparent for that right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency effect you can see here something like this again if you want to adjust properly you can adjust it now the part which is from this area from the sand you can see the soil actually i need to cut that part for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this freeform shape and i'm going to just click like this you can see here i'm just clicking like this and then here click here join it so i get a shape like this so i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one the freeform shape from the merge shape select subtract i end up getting a shape something like this all right and then i'm going to select a gradient fill for this one select a gradient fill sorry a gradient fill and here i'm going to keep only two stops so the two stops i'm going to delete it you can see here the one stop i would like to make it white the second stop using the eyedropper i'm going to choose this color you can see here and this color i'm going to make it completely transparent and then the type here i'm going to choose radial and direction i'm going to use from the center so the white should be this side so i'm going to drag this uh, this color here and the white like this you can see here if you want more you can just drag this one so i end up getting a shape like this again if you want one more i can just press ctrl d you can see here i can just make one more shape and i can give more white color all right so for this one i'm going to make it this side and then i'm going to make it like this you can see here it is more brighter and then i'm going to put it here so i end up getting a a shape which looks like this all right now once this is done what i can do is i can add some icons to it for that go to insert icons you can choose any icons of your choice depending on the requirement 5 6 10 whatever so you can go to icons you can just search any icons which met your criteria you can see here i've got different icons here maybe i can just choose one a uh, lady a pregnant lady and then i'm going to choose some kind of uh, some other shapes you can see here this one i can choose some trees i can choose some brain you know all those things i can just choose any image just say five only and click insert and just bring this aside here and graphic fill make it white color and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 and just which, whichever way you want to align you can just put it here so this is one i'm going to put this one here one more here 
one here and one here you can see here again if you want more you can add more now for this also i can give some glow effect so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to go to the effects and you can see here glow and the color i'm going to choose as white now it's too much so i can increase the transparency here you can see here i can increase the transparency i can reduce the size also here okay so whichever way you want you can just align it so i got this kind of a glow effect here then go to insert text box i'm going to add title make it white font make it bold again depending on your requirement you can adjust the font size i'm going to choose the right align then i'm going to add some detailed text here add detail text here white font reduce the font size to maybe 12 right align and i'm going to put it like this and both of this i'm going to group it by pressing ctrl g then just put it here the way you want press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d again ctrl d now this time i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to make it right align sorry the left align so i'm just going to align left and here also left align all right so like this and press ctrl d that's it our design is ready and if you want to do some basic animation to it you can do the animation part so to do the animation first of all you need to group this one this one and this one press ctrl g you can see here or you can just uh, do the uh, the animation one by one that is also okay with that so and then make sure that this is grouped together all right then go to the animations enable the animation pane this one the first one which i'm going to select and i'm going to use a wipe effect so wipe it comes like this and this one i'm going to select using the uh, shift key all right and then add animation go to the more entrance effects click stretch and click ok and this this one this one and this one a stretch should happen from right and this one and this one stretch should happen from left all right and make sure that this one all those things are after previous okay so now if i play it comes like this all right so this is the way you can do a simple animation effect to it